Hello everybody, this is Training Gamer here to kick off round four for Group A. Ooh, the, kiddie gl the kid gloves are off now, especially in the group of death. Right, in this session we are going to see Diddy Darius going up against Dino Hug, Team South America going up against Heady, and then a big game at the bottom between Random Shy Guy 10 and Token Nightmare. So yeah, good opportunity in the first game though for Dino Hug to put pressure on these two, pull away from that bottom two. A win for Diddy Darius will secure their place in the last 32. Ooh. In the red corner for Diddy Darius, we have got the Alpha Kendra Saurus. Diddy Darius, our champ from the last tournament, enjoying a decent campaign so far. A victory here will all but gar well, will guarantee their place in the last 32 round. No, I don't think a losing bonus point would be enough on the basis that Dino Hug would win. Okay, backing up the Kendra Saurus, we have Shunt and Gasaurus. Okay, let's double check what field we're on, on the beach field. Which, in fact, doesn't affect anybody. No terrain advantages or disadvantages in this match. Right, for Dino Hug, in the blue corner, we got Alpha Aquacampasaurus. Dino Hug is one of my picks to do well in this tournament. Um, they've been hit and miss so far. But a win here would definitely boost their chances of getting out of this group. And a defeat, well, they'll just have to do it all in the last round. Because, well, no matter what happens, they'll, they'll be in the bottom two. In their third match. Backing up the Alvarat row, we got Ankylosaurus. Haven't seen too much of the Anki. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's an important game. An important game. As all the games are in round four, because, you know, you've got chances to qualify. You've got to, like, win to stay in the group, stay in the contest, you know? Really intense. I mean, if you thought round three was intense, round four will elevate it to a whole new level, and then round five will take it up a notch even more. I mean, Dino Hug starting strong. Um, well, again, Diddy Darius doesn't need to win this match. I'd say on nine points, he's probably going to get out this group. But a win would make it certain. And I'm sure then Diddy will be sitting comfortably, but so far not sitting comfortably in this matchup. As Dino Hug starting strong. Time to swap for Diddy. Oh, but he's not getting the swap, and for some reason he likes going paper, which suits Dino Hug down to the ground because Dino Hug can keep hitting him with scissors. I actually, almost forgot to swap him out. <laughs> Right. Oh, finally he's not going paper. Ooh, and gets a hit. Diddy Darius responding with a Venom Fang. This will do some damage to the Aqua because it'll get poisoned. And the Kentrosaurus is poison type as well, so it could, that poison could be amplified even more. Let's have a look. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there's the poison. I thought it didn't get the poison off. I was like, oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, back to going paper again. Ooh, but this time Dino Hug doesn't go for scissors. The poison though, chipping away at the Acro's health. Ooh, Diddy Darius, after a shaky start, coming back into this contest. Another Venom Fang coming. Bum 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 bing bing bum 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 bum. Oh, hello, we got a support the fact. The Shantangasaur is finally getting some action. Okay, it's not time to swap for Dino Hug yet. Ooh, it might be now because that Acro could drop into the red, and it does. Oh, no swapping yet. Another tie. Wow. Oh, another tie. I think this Aqua's tie tight. Wow. Oh, the Acro gets the swap. The fourth attempt of Askin. Dino Hug gets the hit. How crucial could that be? Well, I don't know, because it'll be it'll be interesting. Because while that Acro heals up, this Ankylosaurus does have tight disadvantage to deal with. Ooh, could does that put Dino Hug in the driving? Well, this crit certainly will. Oh, Dino Hug turned the screw in this match. 
God, look at the belly on it. Going out of a belly. That's a big gut. Boosh. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, oh, of course, Alpha Acro gets his support effect off. Well, this will be a massive result for Dino Hug if he can get this done. Diddy Darius in big trouble. Oh, it's game over. The Ankylosaurus is coming in, doing the job for Dino Hug and getting that big bonus point win over Diddy Darius. And Diddy Darius misses the chance to guarantee qualification from the group stage. I mean, he's pretty much going to go through. Nine points is death. Pretty sure nine points is going to be enough. But ooh, a chance miss there, but a big, big win for Dino Hug. And that heaps all sorts of pressure on the bottom two in their matchup. But we don't have that. But that matchup is coming last. We got another match to get through first, and we're going to do it now. Well, this is an important match because whoever wins this match will all but definitely be through to the last 32 round. So, golden opportunity for both of them. Right, in the red corner for Team South America, we got Ablesaurus. Team South America bouncing back with two straight wins after getting shredded in round one by Token Nightmare. Dun 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 dun. Backing up the uh, Ablesaurus, we got the, we got the poisonous predator, the Pianitskisaurus. And this thing has definitely done its work. Snatching victories away from... From, uh, Diddy Darius and I think it was Dino Hug, wasn't it? No, Random Shy Guy. Denying them victories. However, in the blue corner for Hedy, we have got the Triceratops. And this is a very good field for Hedy. This Triceratops will have terrain advantage and the Pianitskisaurus will have terrain disadvantage. So wow, Hedy Connor couldn't have asked for a better field. Does that put him in the drive-in seat? I think it most certainly does. But can Hedy take advantage of it? Backing up the uh, trike, we got this Plutosaurus. But as I said, I feel like Triceratops will be the uh, key key component for Hedy here. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, did, I did the j It's alright, because it beats his crit anyway. Oh, phew. <laughs> Almost goofed up there. Almost goofed up. But yeah, there's the train advantage play. I keep talking about the train advantage. I didn't do it. I've, I, I've done that so many times in this tournament. It's unbelievable. But I didn't do it this time. I stopped myself. Right. There. Train advantage is done. Oh, that's a tie. <laughs> Oh, be time to swap for Team South America, which is not good because the Pianitsky Saurus will come in with the terrain disadvantage and Eddie knows it. So, yeah, it's a hit from Team South America. He's going to swap into Pianitsky Saurus, but Pianitsky Saurus has terrain disadvantage. So, you know what that means. The trite's getting a crit. Ooh, Eddie making good use of the terrain advantage here thus far. Thunder Driver's going to do serious damage to the Pianitskisaurus. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Pianitskisaurus is thinking, Oh, buddy, have I got to bang it out of here? I can't beat a Triceratops. Ooh, there's a tie, though. <laughs> Triceratops not done yet. Ooh, but it does get the swap out. The Pianitskisaurus does get a swap. I think the key for Hedy here is to get the Triceratops out and get the Spletosaurus in so that he can use that terrain advantage again. But there'll be no more swapping for Team South America. Okay, no, when HP's in the red, that's when Hedy wants to swap. Ooh, is he going to survive? I don't know if the Triceratops is going to survive. It should, yeah. Oh, but that's not going to be good. That's good for Team South America, though. They need to kill this Triceratops. Oh, they're not! How crucial is that going to be? Because the Dash Metasaurus comes in, this trike will heal up, and should it come back in, it's going to have terrain advantage and get off a hit. 
Oh, how crucial could that be? That could be the moment for Hedy. Well, this Despitosaurus is kind of throwable at this point. Actually, no, I think the Piatnitsky Saurus will heal up enough to survive a Thunder Driver. Well, not anymore, because the Abelosaurus is going down. And Hedy is definitely on top in this match. Well, Team South America will do well to pull off a smash and grab win here. Actually, I'm pretty confident they won't. Because even if the Displeasosaurus dies, as I said, the Triceratops will come in. It'll have terrain advantage over the Pianitskisaurus, which has terrain disadvantage, so the trike will get off the crest. So yeah, Hedy's actually won. He's pretty much got the win in the back. But can he get a bonus point win? That's the question. Ooh, I don't think he's going to. Oh, I don't think he's going to. I mean, Hedy's won this match. You know, there's no argument. Hedy has 100% won this match. So he can relax. But I think the bonus point win is going to be denied. Yep. But there we go. Let's put the Piantnitskisaurus out of his misery. No chance of snatching victory this time. Because the Triceratops is going to use the terrain advantage to get the win for Hedy. Wow. Terrain advantage played a real factor in this match. I'm not sure if Hedy would have won without it. But, it's a, but Hedy gets the job done. And that's three massive points, which will pretty much assure his place in the last 32 round. As for Team South America, they're just going to have to do it all on the final day. Actually, let's, let's see what would have happened. Okay. Oh, oh okay, yeah, Hedy, Hedy was going to win anyway. <laughs> Right then, on to our final match of this session, and what a crucial match this could be. Okay then, in the red corner, for Random Shy Guy 10, we have got a Sejuanosaurus. And again, like in the second matchup, this is a bad matchup. This is a bad field for Random Shy Guy 10. The Sejuanosaurus will have terrain disadvantage. Ooh, could that be key for Toka there? <coughs> Sorry. Backing up the Sejuanosaurus, we've got the Spinotector. Well, I have, I have to say, round three was really damaging for Shy Guy. Really damaging. But they got the Dinotector, they just couldn't finish it. And lost. In the blue corner, for Toka Nightmare, we have got the Alpha Super Minus. Toka hasn't got going since round one, where they got that spectacular win over Team South America. But if there's ever a time to get your mojo back, this is it. Backing up the Alpha Suko, we got Super T-Rex. Awaken mode on four. Both of our dudes want to swap when HP's below half. I will say though, Toka will get the first hit in this match because of the terrain disadvantage the Sejuangosaurus has. So that could be key because this Suko does have Shockwave. We could see a fast start from Toka, but this Sejuanosaurus is not to be underestimated. Okay, they both want to swap when HP is below half, which makes things easier for me. Oh, Poison Dead. Dino Illusion getting triggered there. Oh, hello, we got Volcano Burst. A very good start from Toka Nightmare. Poisoned the thing, but he burnt it with Volcano Burst. Oh, and it's below half, so it's going to want to swap. Ooh, and gets the swap. I don't know if the Dino Illusion will stay. I think it will. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? And in comes the Spinotector. Oh, but Toka gets a crit. And we all know how powerful this Suko's crit is. Especially when it's Futaba Cannon. <laughs> it's so powerful, my voice cracked. <laughs> Look at that! And poisoned it too! Little recovery here. Oh, and the shockwave as well, which pretty much stops the Spinotector from swapping out. Oh, 
damage and could that have been? Right, so Suko will be going rock. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't go paper. Oh, he's gonna have to go scissors and fail the swap. Oh, he's dead. And and the Serge one comes in, and with a terrain disadvantage, he's gonna get hit again. Let's see if he's still got Dino Illusion. Oh, it doesn't even have Dino Illusion. Okay, yeah, Toka's winning this match. This is this is one-sided if ever I saw a one-sided match. Okay, yeah, that's probably gonna delay his defeat by another round, but yeah, this is this is gonna be game over for uh, yeah, that's that's game over. And the a tie as well, wow. Absolutely shredded! Oh hang on, it's revival type! Oh I forgot it's revival type. It's not gonna change the outcome at this point, but you know. Oh hello, he gets a hit. Gets a hit. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm so coffee. Okay. That actually guarantees the Sejuangosaurus will survive. <laughs> wait, wait, hang on a minute. What's that? They couldn't. Surely not. Surely not the comeback of all comebacks. Surely not. Wait, hang on a minute. What's happening? Oh, the Suko's dead. The T-Rex comes in. No way. No way. No. Okay, that's one. Wait, I, wait, wait. What? What's happening? That's twice. Is it might need the awaken mode. Oh, there's a dino stuffer there. <laughs> I think Toka might be relieved to see that. Alright, that's three times. Um. Oh, it's a cyclone. Hang on a minute. All of a sudden. Um. I, I, I'd be stunned. Okay, there it is. Game over. Oh, no. Dino Illusion. Wait. Well. Um, I'm, I, 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 I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Okay, there it is. Wow. I tell you what, that would have been the comeback of comebacks if Random Shy Guy won that match, but Toka Nightmare probably breathing a huge sigh of relief there. Just about got the job done. Should have been a bonus point win, but it wasn't. Got the three points though, and that's all that matters. Shy Guy though, will get a losing bonus point, and for their little bit of defiance in the end, I think they deserve it. Wow, that was... <coughs> that was so close. That was so close. I was entering Coffin Fit here. That was... That was... Like, oh my god, he's going to come back, isn't he? He's going to come back and win. But nope, Toka just held on in the end. Got the job done. It was unconvincing, but three points are three points. Right, let's have a look at how the Group A stands going into the final round. Well, can it can it be any tighter in this group? Like I put Diddy Darius on top by virtue of the fact that they beat Heady in the first round. Even though Diddy Darius has less wins, the head-to-head -head is what I do first, and then then it'll come down to wins and then bonus points, etc., etc. So that's why Diddy Darius is top at the minute and Heady is second. But yeah, both of these two have had great tournaments so far and pretty much going through. Yeah. They're three points clear of Team South America in fifth. And who did Team South America play in the final round? Ooh. Oh, well, there we go. That's the big one, isn't it? Oh, wait. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they no, they play Dino Hug. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, big game for Dino Hug. But yeah, Dino Hug, definitely the big winner in round four. Getting that bonus point win. Massive result for them puts them in a much healthier position to get out of this group but yeah it's still all to play for even top spot is up for grabs so yeah it, it really tight going into the final round uh, which let's see who's playing so round five we will see well again the big one tote dino hug going up against team south america well anything any result for dino hug 
assures his place in the last 32. A win will certainly do it. And a win will actually knock out Team South America, which will practically guarantee Toka Nightmare's place in the last 32. So if they get, even if they get a, a losing bonus point. So yeah, first game is big. If Dino Hug wins, then that pretty much secures the top four. So then the next matchup will be Diddy Darius going up against Random Shy Guy. Ooh, tough test for Random Shy Guy. Hasn't really happened for them this tournament. But as I said, I go back to round three where they had the Dino Tector and they just couldn't finish off Team South America. And that, I think, is going to cost them. And then we conclude Group A with Heady going up against Toga Nightmare. So, yeah, loads to play for in Group A. Really tight. Out of this slot, I think these three are definitely going through. I'm pretty confident these three will go through. As for fourth place, well, it's up for grabs. It's genuinely up for grabs. Right. That's enough about that though, we're going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and until next time, ta-ta!